Howdy, cousins. It's 7.20 p.m. on a comp Ukron on a Monday night. 6.20 p.m. it says on my phone. This one that I'm recording with and on this one it says 6.26 Monday, November the... What? I don't like those numbers. That was bad. Wasn't planning on that happening, but that kind of stuff does show up from time to time. Um, just wanted to get some footage of pulling this dude in right here. Already got the ears pinned back. And uh, got some plans for exhaust work and getting those rattles taken care of once and for good. And I got a few parts and pieces and pipes all laying back in there somewhere behind all the mess. So I gotta get it all fished out from behind there. But until then, I'm gonna park you guys right over here and let you come along for the ride. All right, I don't know if you'll stay there, but maybe, who knows, might be able to see something. Pulled in just a bit too far. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Let's try again. Hey. Hey. You have to leave just enough room for the garage door to go down past the bumper. Otherwise, it's zip, zero, nada. Hey, you guys see my, has Billy Rand t-shirt yet? 
represent Street Racing Channel tonight. Yeah. I got this guy in here. <clears throat> Hopefully to go over some ideas with you on the exhaust that I want to do before I tie everything up with the cam swap and the intake swap and uh, getting the uh, everything I need for that 750 Holly that I have to work that comp extreme energy 294 is gonna need that 750 and uh, yeah looking forward to it I've got almost all of the pieces that I need to the puzzle and uh, getting the exhaust work done is kind of first on the list I got the cam and the intake and most of the gaskets and consumable pieces and whatnot that I'm gonna need for that upper end swap. I still need to get new filter and oil for oil change. And I wanna swap over from this gold antifreeze that I put in it back over to a true green Prestone um, coolant antifreeze uh, you guys you guys know what I'm talking about I want to put the green stuff in it the good stuff the green stuff yep just throw it back for you guys a little Harley Davidson shot there for you maybe pause it later and read that and see what it says. Here, let me turn it this way for you. <laughs> you won't be able to do it if I do that. You'll pause it later and read that. I know you will. Everything's falling apart here. I went to go grab the lamp and it said, nope, I'm gonna just do something different. I was like, nope, you're coming this way. Here you go. Now we got some light on the subject. That's the one thing about working underneath the hood of these square bodies is that once you take off all of this superfluous stuff, all the dressing, everything down there is just simple. You can bolt whatever you want right onto that short block and make any combination you want. Yep. It's a... No wonder there's such a huge aftermarket for small block Chevy stuff, even in 2023 and moving into 2024. The small block Chevy market hasn't slowed down any. If anything, it's gained some traction over the last couple of years think, thanks to that uh, planned demic that we all had to endure. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to park this phone down and uh, I'll come back and make the next clip as soon as I got all the pipes and everything placed over here so that I can give you a, a visual of how I'm going to lay it out underneath the truck and what I'm thinking about doing before I do it and then I'm going to do it and then I'm going to show you how I did it. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. See you in the next clip. Hey, um, Belkham Whack, JDs and Lentlemen. Um, no, that, that's not right. I meant to say, um, hey welcome back ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i'm kicker and uh got a little bit done let's take a walk come on let's go for a walk it's 8 46 p.m on the computron and it is correct this time i'll prove it hang on a second it's uh 8 51 come on focus in isn't it gonna focus for me? Sucker. It's 851. 
Monday, November the 6th. Here's what I've gotten done, guys. Let's get right to it. This piece is the forward header flange, collector flange. And this is the driver's side pipe. So what I'm planning on doing, wish I had some more light on this so that I could show you everything that I dug out here. So these used to run all the way out the back and the bumper right there at the license plate. But here's my plan. This is the idea that I'm thinking about get some comments on the matter and see what everybody thinks but I'm pretty sure that this is what I'm gonna end up going with give me a second here got the 16 foot Stanley so right to the end of that guy there all the way to the end down here 14 and a half maybe let's just move it to 15 let's just call it 15 16 how about that yeah 15 will have to work yeah that'll work and then come over here and do the same thing to this one. Get it out there in the light so you can see it. And cut 15 inches off here on the passenger side. That way everything stays equal back here where they're going to turn out at. And I'll show you what my plan is. So once I cut this 15 inches out of here. gonna move where this located was located at before dang it sorry guys it's gonna move where this one was located at before forward 15 inches which means I'm gonna have to find a new location for each one of my hangers because I'm moving everything forward 15 inches <laughs> I'm like a parrot repeating myself over and over again Ah! <laughs> Kicker said move it 15 inches. <laughs> uh, okay, you're following me on that part. So once I've got that, there, it'll bolt up. I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to flip it on its side and hook right into him. If I can get it to stand up like I had it earlier. Let's see if I can get it to do what I was thinking. Okay, so now that that's now that this piece is 15 inches further forward where it's turned out at is at, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this guy right here. Bear with me, and I'm gonna cut it. So that it looks like that baloney cut is coming right out in front of that rear tire over there. And this baloney cut on this one will be coming out somewhere right in there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yep. So, that's a lot of work because that's going to have to be cut to fit, you know? Whatever the length is going to need to be once I figure out. Might end up flipping these back over to get the 
angle I need to turn it in the right direction you know what I mean this one may end up having to go back on the driver's side and this one may end up having to go to stand it up vertical like that that was laying horizontal now I'm gonna be asking it to stand up vertical I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this work yeah so a lot of questions to be asked and solved here and uh, I'm gonna do the best I can to make it work and see what I come up with but you know what in the meantime this is the very first time I've had this engine uncapped completely open headers there's no exhaust on it at all at the moment it's just open headers and this thing pops right off even when it's cold and it's loud even with exhaust on it and it's almost nine o'clock in the evening what do you think guys want to stinky up the garage and fire up noisy boy and cement his name and his legacy on the corner of action street once and for good <laughs> that's kind of risky <sighs> might do it with the garage door closed just fire it up and pop it off just to hear what it sounds like and then raise my garage door and let it air out his stinky gasoline fart and belches. <laughs> Why don't we do that? We're still filming. I don't have a clampy thing to put you in. You guys noticed that uh, after I did all that work, I took that work shirt off and put my Billy the Kid. You guys don't know who Billy the Kid is. It's uh, Billy Hoskinson from Ohio. He has a YouTube channel called Street Racing Channel and him and his family do a lot of no prep backside street racing on the back side of the track kind of racing stuff and they're good at what they do and I've been watching Billy build that S10 for three or four years now his dad has a channel called OMG old man's garage I got one of the old man garage stickers in my truck. I entered that thing. Sure do, actually. I have an old man garage sticker in my truck. Noisy boy actually got tagged with an old man garage sticker. There it is, see? Bam. Life in the fast lane with Mr. Horsepower. Always gotta go with the comp cam. You heard me? Oh! You guys still with me? I just dropped you. <laughs> I think it's still recording. Pink Cadillac. Yep, there you guys are getting a little feedback. Sitting next to a pink Cadillac. Nine minutes and 29 seconds in. And I fumbled you and dropped you. I bet that was fun. I can't wait to <clears throat> look at this back and see it in the uh, on the big screen when I edit it in my online film creator, film editor. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, I'm having too much fun tonight. I'm going to make some cuts. And, uh, I don't know if you guys that are uh, old timers with uh, kicking it with kicker remember when I put that exhaust together and how I cut it to put those new 100% um, pure Chineseium headers on that I had to modify that whole front collector piece and get it to pass inspection Jay got it underneath there and welded all that up for me and it passed inspection got it legal for a year 
thanks to Jason's help. Yep, thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. And uh, that little stupid Clark welder right there is what Jason used. And uh, that's what I'm going to use. Yep, I'm going to finish up that st stupid mess wherever it is on that other one. I didn't quite finish it up. Uh, look like a like a bunch of pigeons came in there and just uh, dropped splatter after splatter of feces on it like the bottom of a bat cave covered with guano yeah it's about the equivalent take a good look that's <laughs> yeah my second day welding yeah it was only my second day welding <laughs> yep all right you know me I'm kicker and I like to just talk, 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 and talk, 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 and then do some more talking, and then and then after I've done all of my talking, I may just decide to do some more talk, 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 and talk, talk, talking. So I'm pretty good at talking. Got a lot to say. Now I got a lot of talk. To, I got a lot to talk about, and not really much to say. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't like me if I had too much to say. So I'll just stick with talk, 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 and you talk, talk, talking. All right, here we go. Wait for the next one. We'll see you guys later. You guys didn't think I was going to cut the video off right there, did you? Nope. We got to get this footage. And we got to put a tag right at the end of this video to make it worth it. Otherwise, we're not cementing Noisy Boy's name into notoriety on the corner of Action Street. Let's get it. Come on. Here we go. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this right here. I'm going to go with that. I don't know about you, but that sounded pretty noisy to me. Woo! Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. I'll get you out of there. Oh my. Okay. You heard it. That was a noisy boy stinking up the garage. Stinking up the garage. Alright, I'm kicker. You've been kicking it with Kicker, and uh, man, I can't wait to hear what that 294 sounds like in here, open headers. If that little Comp Magnum 480-480 on a 1-6 ratio rocker bumping it to 512-512 straight across the board sounds that good, man, I can't wait to hear what that Extreme Energy 294 sounds like. All right, I'm Kicker kicker later kick you guys see you yeah you know what i meant okay bye